Welcome to MLAC Online Tutorial. Before us uh, is this series of questions in trigonometry. I will be solving each and every one of them. Okay, now let's begin with by recalling the trigonometry uh, complementary angles where we have sine theta equals cos into 90 minus theta and uh, cos theta equals to sine into 90 minus theta. All right, now this actually gives us the complementary angles in a right angle triangle, which implies that this angle must be le uh, lesser than what, 90 degree. All right, okay, now let us use these uh, equations to solve this okay now for number one here we have sine theta equals cos 50 now what this implies is what angle of the sine will give us cos 50 which means the sine of a particular angle should be equals to the cos 50 degree all right now starting or with now what we just need to do is to equate either of these to this so we can just probably choose sine uh, theta here so our sine theta here equals cos 90 minus theta so we now equate this to cos 50 so we equate cos 90 minus theta towards cos 50 so here we have cos 90 minus theta equals cos 50 now having this I just eliminate the cos and equate the two angles together 90 minus 50, uh, theta equals what 50 degree now let us collect like them bringing 50 to the left hand side we have 50 minus i mean 90 minus 50 then equals taking negative uh, theta to the right hand side it becomes what positive so then the day you have what 40 degree equals what theta which means that sine 40 degree we give is the same value as cos 50 degree now number two all right coming over here let us uh, make a cos theta the sort of relation so here you have sine 2 theta equals cos theta and here we are giving the cos theta equals to sine into 90 minus theta now let us bring this a substitute for cos theta say so you have sine 2 theta equals sine into 90 minus theta right so you can just eliminate this and equate 2 theta equals 90 minus theta all right bringing negative theta to the left hand side because they have common term so here you have 2 theta plus theta equals 90 degrees and here you have what 3 theta equals what 90 degree and if we divide both sides by uh 3 theta so here we have that theta equals what 90 degree okay now number three okay for number three here we have it that cos 2 beta equals uh sine 4 beta now from here you can make either of these you can substitute it for either of these but ensure that whichever that whichever one you are substituting it for ensure that your two uh beta equals this so we we'll replace we we'll replace this here theta okay let us now choose cos okay now for this cos here now we have our sine into what 90 minus uh theta okay let's make use of this place so for this we can now say sine now into 90 minus then our theta here is the value of our theta here is what 2 beta so here you have what 2 beta then equals sine 4 beta okay we can now eliminate this so we can equate 90 minus 3 beta then equals 4 beta now at this point now let us collect like terms by collecting like terms 
negative 3 beta will move to the right hand side become positive where we have what 90 then equals 4 beta plus uh, 3 beta which will give us what 7 oh sorry this is 2 here is 2 so here we have us 6 beta okay now moving forward here we can now see which is equals to 90 degree now and if we divide both sides by 6 now 3 here 2 3 here 30 2 here 1 and 2 here 15 degree so here we can now say that our beta equals 15 degree okay number four now you can pause the video and solve number four to see uh, if you get the answer okay and after which you can come back and cross check your answer all right for cost x here now you can make this yeah you can connect this with relation to this so here we can see our cos x now will become sine into 90 now our theta here will be represented by we will replace by x here then equals sine into x plus 53 degree okay now we can now take this off so here we have 90 minus x equals x plus 53 Okay, now we can now collect like terms. Here you have 90 as positive uh, 53 comes over to the left hand side becomes negative. Then equals as negative x moves to the right hand side becomes positive. So here you have x plus x which will give us what? 2x. So here 90 minus 53 here should give us uh, this 7 then 8 that will be 37 equals 2x. Now dividing both sides by 2. Then our x now will become 2 here 1. 2 in 3 here you have 1 remainder 1. Now in 17 that should give us uh, 8. That will be 16 that remainder 1. In 1 impossible. Then in 10 it is 5. Okay. Now for number 5 here. Here we have a. Uh, sine 3 theta okay so you can make use of this okay so but in this case now we're going to make use of this i replace theta with 3 theta so here we have cos into 90 minus 3 theta then equals cos into theta minus 28 okay now we can now cancel out this so here we have 90 minus 3 theta equals theta minus 28. Okay. Now let's call it like time here. You have 90. Then plus 28. Then equals negative 3 theta. Moving over to the right hand side become positive. So here you have theta plus 3 theta will give us what? 4 theta. So here you have 4 theta. Now which will give us. 118 equals 4. Sorry, this will be theta not 48. So here you have divide both sides by 4. So here you have this, we eliminate this. Now 2 here, 2. 2 in 11 here is 5. The remainder 1. Then in uh, 18, here you have what? 9. So 2 here, 1. 2 in 5 here, you have what? 2 remainder 1 then in uh, 17 sorry in uh, 19 we have a uh, 9 remainder 1 then remainder 1 then in, in 10 it is what 5 all right these are the finals uh, the the solution to this uh, equation in trigonometry identities Alright, if you love what I've just done, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and ensure you click on the notification button to be notified of all my videos in maths and physics. Thank you and God bless you.